What's going on guys? I'm here with the Marvel's Avengers video and today I'm going to be going over the new patch version 1.6.0 slash 1.32. This pretty much goes into a little bit more detail regarding the new tech and anomaly event that's supposed to go down later this week. We have a villain sectors properly update slash rotate and new custom harm rooms update. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. The release timing of this update should be out by now. I know on PlayStation it says to be announced. I'm pretty sure it's out by now since I am a couple of hours late into making this video. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue with this. Uh, getting to the tech and anomaly event, it says it will start on April 22nd, last until May 3rd. So yes, it will be a limited time event, but the devs did mention that if we really enjoyed this mode, they'll for sure bring it back. Temporal Assault event, this is where you can play as more than one of the same hero in the strike team and during matchmaking. Daily missions for this event will reward priority set gear for the hero you're playing regardless of level. Completing the weekly mission will reward one piece of gear from the high mind set per hero above power level 120. Each hero below power level 120 will get an epic item instead. New Tachyon mission, the Tachyon Earth mission, and we're back takes place in the city biome. Animated nameplates, you will receive an animated team nameplate as a reward for the first completion of the weekly mission chain or daily mission that can be used on any hero. Subsequent completions will not award more nameplates. Additional hero specific nameplates are available in the marketplace. Custom Harm Room update added two new enemy groups to the custom slash intel harm room, Dreadbots and Airborne. The Dreadbot groups are waves focused on Dreadbots enemies and the Airborne group is themed around all flying enemies. Operation Replay, you can now replay both Operation Taking Aim and Operation Fusion Perfect to your heart's content, so that's pretty cool that they did that. Reassemble Campaign and Avengers Initiative, Villain Sector missions now properly update and rotate with new missions. A second Black Widow no longer appears at the war table during the Mistaken Identity intro cutscene. Players can no longer go out of world on Tachyon Mission Breakout due to rapidly flying through the map as Iron Man before parts of the environment appear. Very stability, optimizations, and improvements, and for Steam, improved loading times. Multiplayer and matchmaking fix an issue where PS5 and PS4 players did not transition successfully to the Quinjet upon Warzone completion. Fix an issue where players would sometimes have different NPCs at the helicarrier after matchmaking and the others matchmaking could be disabled for players without their input. Resolved an issue where a player could not join another player's active Warzone session that they just left. Turbulence Elite and Desert Vault Elite missions appear correctly on the war table. And the last one is various matchmaking, optimization, and improvements. Art and animation. Updated Kate's heart outfit named to heart. Kamala's hands no longer become erroneously gigantic when players press both a melee attack button and jump button at the same time while in big end. Resolved multiple issues where aiming or using a range attack immediately before using a finisher could result in a buggy animation, inability to aim, or camera issues. Added audio to Hawkeye's takedown in the marketplace in cases where there was no audio. User interface, we have updated the character select menu to more accurately reflect the clickable area to select a desired hero. Faction reward notifications no longer pop up constantly during missions. After defeating the Warbot and Family Reunion and watching the cinematic, the player's HUD now properly appears. Codex entry for the Elite Dreadbots is properly unlocked and general UI improvements and fixes. In combat, fix the rare issue where sometimes the player will not be able to jump or fly after using a Warzone elevator. Fix the rare issue where Kamala's high five would sometimes not fully stretch out and stand linger in front of her. And fix an issue where Adaptoids laser beams can continuously fire despite being defeated. Known issues and workarounds, if a player made progress in the reassemble campaign and they attempt to re-enter the game with only a partial install of the game, they will crash when pressing a button to enter the main menu. We recommend that players fully install their game until this is resolved. Here on Marvel's Avengers Updates Twitter page, we see what some of the small UI changes are. So here is the first one, and that is that Quick Match now displays at the bottom a plus 10% XP boost. Next one is small little UI change on the tab bar, and it is at the Codex page is now included. There is now a third section in the marketplace to access the credit page. So down below at the bottom, there is another tab, number three. Another UI update is that it now displays the XP gained after completing an objective. So that's really cool to see. Here, whenever you hover over select hero slash companions, it shows who you requested as a companion. And that once again is another great feature. 
And just before I end off the video, just something I want to show you guys, you know, just that little Spider-Man meme of them pointing at each other. So now it's Captain America doing it. That's pretty funny. I can't wait to see what other stuff we can pull off whenever this event goes live. But yeah, that's going to cover it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.